Hey, what's going on YouTube? Long time overdue. Rack 718. I wanted to share with you a quick video. I hope it's quick. I got a lot of books here from my experience or my haul from the Awesome Con. Great, uh, great Comic Con in the uh, Washington D.C. area. A three-day event. Uh, about seven dealers were there. And funny, there was like maybe one or two I didn't see until Sunday. They they were like middle of nowhere on the show floor, but uh, eventually bumped into them and, and kind of looked at their inventory. But yeah, seven dealers. I think I went there all, well, I did go there all three days. Um, saw some cool characters. I think the Punisher guy was there and uh, Luke Cage was there. and Some other major characters were there on the floor doing pictures and autographs and stuff. That was nice. But I was basically kind of digging around. Um, but yeah, wanted to share with you some stuff. Got some dollar finds. Got some 10 for a dollar. Got uh, uh, buy 10, get 10 free. There was a dealer with that. Buy 10, get 10 free. And then I did some trades, believe it or not. I did some trades. So um, yeah, just want to share with you this quick video. So I got another copy of Bloodstone 1, man. Very cool. If you remember, I um, submitted this to CGC recently and came back a 9A. So this is probably like my second or third raw copy. I don't know, it's the first appearance of a character. So anytime I see it, I'll pick it up. Found, I'm trying to complete this set, this Battle Scars number two. I think one and five are the key issues with the first appearances, but it's a one through six miniseries. Found another copy of Justice League 30, first appearance. Of uh, Jessica Cruz, uh, Young Avengers number nine, and Young Avengers number one. It's pretty nice when the dollar books are bagged and bordered. I mean, that's definitely, definitely a plus. Sometimes you don't see that. Even with the sticker tag here, four dollars and three dollars. I got these for a dollar, and then I got again trying to complete the set. I think I have one or two copies of issue number one. Little girl number two, little girl number three, a uh, very low print one independent series. Thought, I, thought I'd complete that. Not sure why I got this. Lock and key, I believe this is an early appearance, free comic book day. This was in the dollar bin. Got this cover A and cover B set for Border Town. I um, think this was a cool cover when it first came out, so I got that. Put that on the PC. Throw that away. Got a second print of Justice League Dark number one. First appearance of Justice League Dark. You can tell second print with the reddish background there. Uh, found this copy odd. I found a first appearance of the mall, I guess, but it has the LCS stamp here. Free comic book day came last year by Scout Comics. New X Men 129. Early appearance of Phantom Max. Found that for a dollar. And why did I pick this up? I don't know. I got this Port of Port of uh, Port of Earth three copies of number one. Um, and then I got two copies of this Winter Soldier uh, number one. Uh, early appearance of. Uh, of a new character there. And then again, uh, got this Ultimate Fantastic 4, number 4. Has another version of uh, Spider-Man. And then some 1, 2, and 3. Even though Dark Horse had a booth there, and I saw these on their racks, I found this in the dollar bin. There's 1, 2, and 3. I believe it's a 6 issue series um, of this particular volume. So. And they have a cover A and a cover B of this, so look out for those if you're into that. And then this was pretty cool to pick this up. I believe 32 is the money book. But there's Web of Spider-Man 32 and 33. Just thought I'd add that to the PC. It's pretty cool. Cool cover there. So yeah, those were maybe one or two dealers there. The following is from one dealer, man. He had major, 
like new comic book day comics for like a dollar. The Savage Shores number one, like one, two, three, four, oops, oh snap, four, five copies of this number one. I mean, these are still going for like 20, 30 bucks, I believe. Very low print run comic. I believe they're on issue number three. And probably the one, the number one, the variant, the, the ones everybody's getting is that homage cover to, um, to that Dracula comic. But still, the original first print, I'm not going to pass that up. Found some more copies of The Rift, number three. Number one, number one, number one, and number one. Thought that was pretty cool. It's a one through four mini series. Very low print run. Again, independent comic. Thought I picked that up. Found another copy of this Lady Killer number one. Thought that was cool. It's the second volume. The first volume is probably the one to get. Found Smoketown number two, Smoketown number one by Scout Comics, Smoketown number one. I believe this comic got optioned, that's why I picked those up. Not gonna complain about that. Motor Girl number two, I have Motor Girl number one, but again, trying to complete a set. Motor Girl number three, Motor Girl number four, Motor Girl number five, Motor Girl number six. So I have one through six now. So I'll definitely look into that, read that up. And then I found this was interesting. Long Lost Number One. I found I find these every now and then. Two copies of number one, first volume, and then a copy of number one, the second volume. So I believe I heard some rumors about this uh doing something, but you never know with Scout Comics or any independent comic. Couldn't pass this up, man. This, again, buy 10, get 10 free. I'm just picking for whatever. Three copies of Reborn. Three more copies of Reborn. And then four more copies of Reborn. I mean, I just kind of was stacking up whatever when it's buy 10. I mean, this dealer was probably just trying to get rid of stuff. And I don't blame him if it's collecting dust at the shop. I mean, Hungry Ghost number two. Hungry Ghost number four. It's a one through four mini series. Um, Anthony Bourdain, the, uh, one of the famous chefs that's passed away. So just a collector's piece to me. Uh, Superman 39. I saw this getting some heat online. Three copies of this Superman 39. Um, maybe Naomi, I don't know. That was pretty cool. Found this in a dollar bin. That was kind of fun. It's kind of beat up, but wasn't going to pass it up. Spawn number one. Found Avenger 682. The I believe that's the secret variant with the no helmet. Then you got Hawkeye with the helmet. Then you got 682, the second print. Daredevil 21, the second print, first appearance of Superior Spider-Man. Found this one of twenty-five variant in the dollar bin, believe it or not. I found this one of twenty-five variant in the dollar bin. So I believe this is an early appearance of the Challenger, maybe the first appearance, and then this is just from the Star Wars Thrawn series. Um, kind of a popular series with Star Wars now. Found another copy of this Spider-Man Alpha number one. Not sure why I picked this up. Maybe it was a cool cover. But I got two copies of the Infinity Wars Weapon Hex. Number two. And then two copies of number one. Thought I'd add that to the PC. Again, buy 10, get 10 free. I was just grabbing whatever. So that was one dealer. And then another dealer. Let me see. Oh no, I found this also for a dollar. This, uh, which is Action Comics 1002. Marvel Age 82. I believe that's an early appearance of Beta Ray. Maybe Cable, one of those characters. Um, Black Panther number four. White Wolf. Uncanny X Men 160 for a dollar. Early appearance of Magic, Adult Magic. 
So I couldn't pass those up. Definitely grabbing those. What else I got from another dealer? Oh yeah, I got this. Gambit number one. Gold foil for a dollar. Got this Edge of Spider-Verse number five for a dollar. Early appearance of Penny Parker. And got this Carnage USA number four for a dollar. I think I have this set now. I gotta check. And then I got some of these early century. Trying to complete the set for this. Century number four and five. Got those for a dollar. So yeah, man, fun times at this con. Um, I traded I traded some comics for this. Let me know how I did. The Secret Avengers 23. Um, just a key issue. And these are 9-8 copies, so more likely they won't submit these. Early appearance of Anti-Venom. I got a Venom 1 newsstand. Well, I found this for a dollar. I have this get mixed up here. I don't know. This uh, Infinity um, New Avengers number 10. First appearance of Thane. This was in the back issue bin for $5. One Woman 72. Yeah, I got a lot of these centuries. I'm trying to complete. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you know why. So I got... So... The reason I got so many more issues of Century is because I've got these in the back issue being Century number one, the first appearance of Century. I already have a 9A copy. These look like candidates, but I'm debating if I should complete the complete a set or not because I also have three, four, and five. And then I have more of two, three, three, and five. So, you know, some, some possibilities here. Um, deciding what to do there. And then the last comic, yes, the last comic I got from the Comic-Con. This is a 9-8 candidate. And, um, oh, I traded uh, Secret Wars number 8, the black costume issue. It was like maybe a very fine near mint, 9-2 copy maybe. And I traded the, um, oh man, I traded, uh, it's like a $40, $50 book. Uh, uh, Spider-Man Annual, number 11 I think it was, that uh, first appearance of the uh, another Ms. Marvel. Um, so I traded those for those comics I just showed you. He had two copies of this, this particular dealer. One was with the set, one through six, but and then one was by itself. I looked at both copies. This looks like a 9-8 candidate. Um, 9-8s are going for three, four hundred dollars. This is the first appearance of Batman Beyond. The label doesn't say it, but um, it's kind of a consensus of collectors. So yeah, I definitely have fun. Went all three days. You'd be surprised what you miss if you don't go all three days. I don't know. Sunday, like I said, there are some dealers I didn't even see. But yeah, a lot of deals to be made. Definitely. A lot of deals to be made. And it's funny because on the last day of the con, there's one particular dealer. Yeah, it's funny. If, if, if you don't stick around, like if you don't have an exhibitor's badge or the dealer's badge, you really don't know what's going on. But I kind of... I had a badge and I was kind of seeing what was going on. A lot of people just want to get the heck out of there, man. They leave so much merchandise on the floor. And this one dealer, he just left and bounced. And left like, maybe like 20 long boxes on the floor. And I'm going to try to add a pic to this video for you to see it. But um, if not, it is what it is. What it is. I, I, I pretty much had to stuff my car full of these long boxes. And it was definitely fun times. But anyway... Quick video, collect what you want to collect, but please take care of those comics. That's what I'm about to do right now, bag of boardies, submit to CGC, and I'll talk to you later.